hello everyone this time we are going to learn macro and procedure so let's begin what it is so, so don't go by the name it's not macbook pro it's mac pro for macro and procedure so i think he don't confuse it okay it's a poor joke but please <laughs> okay coming to the serious note this is our previous program which we which we were using in the last time okay so you can see the most part of the code was consumed with this printing message scanning message and then again printing message so it was about 80% of the code was using all this only so in a normal programming you will be having lot of this input and output and we don't want to write all over all this over and over again this was just for basic understanding so to solve this problem and to reduce this issue we have a macro and a procedure concept okay so first of all what is a macro every one of us might have used macro and procedure so macro is like a normal macro in c language or c++ language and a procedure is like a normal function in any programming language so we will talk about macro first what is a macro okay so a macro is nothing but a group of code okay which would be replaced completely at the point where they are referenced i will make it clear in a second let's see first of all i have created a macro with percent macro syntax i have given a name to that macro print and i have given number of parameters that that macro will accept that is two parameters as we know to print we have two things first of all the address of the variable to be printed and the length of that message to be printed so that's why i have taken two parameters okay and similar way for that is for printing job that's why i have named this macro print because this i am going to use for print and then i have used ebx comma 1 that is you know what it is for for standard display ecx comma percent 1 so percent 1 here means when we pass two parameter to this print the first parameter the first argument will be passed to ecx and the second argument will be passed to edx and then the interrupt okay and we end the macro with percent and macro and please make note that there is no space between percent and macro okay so this is the syntax for making a macro so let's see how we call a print macro over there print so what we are calling we are writing the name of the macro and we are giving the first parameter so so the first parameter which we have mentioned over here is the ecx and ecx takes the address of the message so we give, we are giving the name of the message that is the address of the message out message and the second parameter which we are passing is the length of the message and the length is passed as a second parameter over here okay so that's clear so what actually will happen over here this complete code okay will be replaced over here and the percent 1 will be replaced with this first parameter and the percent 2 will be replaced with this parameter and the code would be executed so it's like writing the old code only but the thing is that we are un unaware of the things that happening in the background we will be immune to the things and all we need to write is this print statement over and over again and we can reuse the same concept so it's very good for our programming purpose and you can see that our code has been reduced to a single line similarly i have created another macro with percent macro and the name is scan it has it also has two parameter again 3 and 2 means scan from the standard input device percent 1 is the first parameter that is the address where the scanning after scanning the values to be stored and the percent 2 is the maximum length of that size okay and again i have given the interrupt so let's see how this code works and again we have a out message and the custom message over here is i am mac pro macbook pro say hi to me <laughs> no i have mac pro and pro example say hi to me okay and again we have our termination we have calculated the, the length we have a section dot bss and we have created two variable again in message and in message length similar to the old example and now see the main part section dot text first of all we have printed the out message and then we have scanned the in message okay and the parameter which we have passed is the in message and 255 please make a note of that 255 we have passed the maximum size that we want to accept okay so that is the key over here so after scanning the size the how much whatever amount of keys stroke you press on the keyboard okay is stored in the eax register after scanning okay so we are copying the number of inputs you have provided to the in length because we need to calculate the length if we got to print this message afterwards so i have saved that size in in length okay the input length variable and why we have used this square brace square brackets is because it is a value at in length i have already told you in the last tutorial okay so now this part this is a new one okay look at it closely 
what i have done move ecx comma 4 ecx is the extended count okay count register so what it basically does it is it keeps a count okay so i have given ecx a value of 4 that is keep a count of 4 i have created a label this is a label okay and i have call so basically you might have heard we use the word call before a procedure okay and it's very true over here too we are calling a procedure called proc to print that is procedure to print okay and i have defined that procedure over here and we will be talking about that in just a minute okay so what is this procedure do proc to print and see you can see that macro is mostly written before the beginning of section dot data and a procedure is always written after the end of the exit after the exit code okay so keep that in mind don't misplace them keep them at their correct position so what is it basically do it uses push rcx push rcx is nothing but pushing the rcx value on the system stack and saving it for later use then we are using print and then we are again popping that rcx value and we are returning our control i will tell you what this push and pop is for but in the meanwhile come let's come back over here okay so what we are telling call proc to print so this proc to print is nothing but basically printing the message and how many times it will print that will depend on the value which we have provided to the ecx counter okay so this will basically print it for the four times so what it happens over here when you call proc to print print the message is printed okay the whatever the message you have provided is printed and the loop up and this working what is the working of this loop up okay we will see loop up does ecx minus minus that is it decrements it value and it checks if ecx not equal to zero then jump up okay so what it does is first of all it checks that if ecx it decrements ecx that ecx will become three over here and if it checks if ecx not equal to not equal to zero okay if it is not zero that means the count has not exhausted then it will jump to up up and it will keep executing that means the message will be printed the number of times you have specified it over here okay so what ignoring this push and pop for a while what will happen it will come to proc print print the message and return over here again it will go up call and again the control will come over come over here and it will print and return again the control will come over here and the same process will be repeated for the cx number of times okay but you can see we have the number of count in cx register okay but when you print see this very carefully this is the most common error we do most of the times because print what is print print is basically this complete code okay and in this code we are using ecx register also so we are passing a parameter to ecx and we are overwriting the value of ecx we only have a one we only have one set of registers okay in our hand and if you override the value this four would be lost and some arbitrary value would be there and this loop may, may be executing may, may execute infinite number of times so in order to save the rcx value i am pushing rcx and then again i am popping back the rcx after the printing job okay and why i am pushing rcx because my machine is a 64 64 bit machines and i cannot push any register less than 64 bits okay and rcx is the 64 bit registers ecx is the 32 bit register and cx is 16 bit and and so on okay so that's why i am pushing the rcx and then again i am popping the rcx and the process continues so you can see the way of defining a procedure it's giving a label name and writing all the code before a return statement so this is just an ex hypothetical example to show you how a procedure works and how a macro works so i hope you get the link and we will execute this code for you and we will see how it works so nasa minus f elf64 macpro.asm ld minus minus o macpro space macpro.o dot slash macpro so i will type get me one dad okay so see this was the terminal okay i am a mac pro which we have printed and this was the input which i have given and after that this is the fourth time depending on the cx value i have printed the same message four times that was the procedure that's what procedure are for so i hope you got this code and macro and procedure are very important please keep in mind so hope you use macros and procedure in your code thanks for viewing